Yo guys, welcome in today's video. In today's video, we are right now in Amsterdam. And nevertheless, even though we are in Amsterdam, still wanna have a chat about Bitcoin because a lot of stuff is happening at this specific moment. Really a lot. We, we can see Bitcoin touching a massive level right here in the charts while we actually approaching December. And December is often kind of a crazy month for crypto in general. So yeah, in today's video, I want to have a talk about Bitcoin. We're gonna have a talk about altcoins. I'm going to explain to you what I'm expecting for next month, next week, and also the narratives that right now are a little bit present in the space. So inter very interesting guys, very interesting topics that we are going to discuss right here in this beautiful park right here in Amsterdam. It's called Gaspe, Gaspe Plus. It's a very big, very big, yeah, lake, lake kind of thing. So very beautiful. So first of all, guys, Bitcoin is at a very massive resistance, which is at 38 slash 37.5K. And why is this such a massive resistance? Because this is the golden uh, ratio retracement level if we look at the Fibonacci levels, like I've been pointing out in previous videos, but also the stablecoin dominance is at a massive, massive support, exactly at that specific level. So when Bitcoin is at a massive resistance, the stablecoin dominance is at a massive support. So in one way, it does really make sense for stables to bounce and Bitcoin to correct. So if I just look at the technical structure of the chart, yes, this is definitely a likelihood, but you gotta think also as like the following, how much can that correction be? Are we going to go to 35, 34, 33, maybe 32K? I don't really see that Bitcoin, if we remain to look this bullish, is going to go much lower. And then it, you're gonna get the next question. The potential upside is way higher than the potential downside. And I shared in my previous videos, guys, I myself am 80% back in, back in Bitcoin and crypto. Um, I hope you guys can still hear me pretty good with the wind. I already have something on the microphone, so it's it should it should cover out the wind. But yeah, my apologies if the if the wind is still present. The seasons right now in Holland are a little bit crazy. There's a lot of wind, there's a lot of rain, and then suddenly the sun just comes up. And these periods, these moments, I really I really do miss Bali, Indonesia, and Southeast Asia in general because there's just always summer and. Yeah, I like that. I like that way better than uh, than here. Although I do love the summers in Holland also, but I'm definitely more the sun time type of guy than the windy rain type of guy. But yeah, guys. So Bitcoin is at a massive resistance. We could see a correction that's possible, but does it outweigh the potential upside? Right. I will remain with my 80% in crypto, and if Bitcoin does get that correction, I'm not really plan to short that correction. No, I'm. But I do plan to put the remainder 20% that I have in Bitcoin as well, as I do expect that Bitcoin can still continue this rally as it has already shown a lot of strength, right? That brings me to the next thing. And what we are often seeing, guys, is that when Bitcoin rallies, maybe correct, move sideways, altcoins are starting to rally. And we can right now already see a lot of altcoin charts against Bitcoin, they start to pop up. They're showing a lot of strength. They have shown also some strength in the past couple of months, especially some players like Solana, Chainlink, DYDX. So there are definitely some altcoins that are really sticking out of the crowd. But December, which is coming very, very soon, is known to be the month for altcoins. December is often a where we're seeing altcoin seasons and it's starting with Ethereum and I think it's definitely possible that Ethereum is going to lift off in December and guys this I have been saying this already like last month I've been saying in November Ethereum is going to rally against Bitcoin it will fully retrace before or in December and then we are going to take off again because this is exactly the pattern that we are seeing all the time is Ethereum gaining some traction against Bitcoin, completely retraces the move, makes a new low after and then just takes off. So I'm definitely also planning to uh, flip some Bitcoin into Ethereum. So I think from next month, if Bitcoin can make one more nice rally, that would be beautiful. 
I think the focus is really going to be on altcoins because there will be a lot of liquidity flowing into altcoins. That's what I think. And I think first off is of course Ethereum, but we are seeing already a lot of other players that are doing uh, pretty good. And I think small, even small cap altcoins are able to perform pretty, pretty good against Bitcoin. Now, there is another narrative that I want to discuss. Uh, and that is ordinals. Ordinals are going crazy right now as well. MM Crypto just published a video as well, I guess yesterday, where he also said that he's holding Bitcoin Pongs, pepper, Pixel Peppers, and Audi Token. Well, as you guys know, right here on the channel, we have been a huge fan of Audi and Bitcoin Ordinals, and we have been very early a huge fan, and I've been very clear on that, because it's not necessarily that I'm so bullish on the type of artwork, stuff like that. No, I'm really bullish on the narrative. The narrative is that you can get the same thing what Ethereum experienced previous bull market with NFTs and putting things on the blockchain, putting art on the blockchain, anything, uh, we can get that on Bitcoin even better because the system of Bitcoin is of course better than the system of Ethereum if you ask me. And I think this will this can drive so much liquidity to Bitcoin NFTs and we already have proof because we already seen it with Ethereum so we know that the potential of that hype is there we know that there is a certain demand because it was with Ethereum right and if you look at the market caps of the Ethereum NFTs they still way 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 beyond Bitcoin Bitcoin is just starting out with NFTs so a lot of people they don't really know how to buy Bitcoin NFTs it's easier on Ethereum because there are already a lot of platforms although I do have to say it's getting easier on Bitcoin too but this is definitely a trend that I'm heavily heavily invested in and I'm not saying necessarily that you have to do the same uh, this is also definitely not financial advice this is a high risk high reward gamble but for me, it doesn't feel like it, it feels like gambling, but it doesn't feel like gambling based on nothing because it's really you really try to position yourself for a potential future event that you see has a chance of happening. Right. And I, I heard some guys saying like you got to position yourself. Actually, that's always with trading. You got to position yourself before the actual wave before the liquidity flows in and then once liquidity flows in you are going to get out of that position right so then there's also liquidity to step out so get in when no one is talking about because you can already see the potential future doesn't mean that it 100 needs to happen no but without taking any risk without taking any chance there's also no reward and if i look at this situation i think this is a very calculated risk because we have seen the same pattern with ethereum it makes a lot of sense to go bitcoin nfts the art is good we already see demand the demand is increasing we are seeing the uh, the actual, actual trading volume on Bitcoin NFTs surpassed the trading volume a couple of days of Ethereum NFTs. We also see that the trading volume on Bitcoin NFTs made, is making new all-time highs. So I'm definitely very bullish on that during this bull market. Because you got to think, a lot of people, they invest in the narrative. It's always investing in the narrative. Like... The narrative of AI, the narrative of ICOs back in 2017, the, narr the narrative of DeFi, you know, there are very much cool products out there, but you gotta admit to yourself, there are a lot of altcoins that don't even have a product, but already gained a lot of traction. Why? Because we are emotional creatures and we like to invest in stories. We don't like to that's why the narrative is so important that's my personal opinion and i really see the narrative for ai definitely i see the narrative for ordinals i see the narrative for decentral decentralized exchanges because of the regulations that are coming to crack down on uh, bitcoin traders and so on so these are a little bit the narratives that i'm watching and i'm personally investing in narratives and I think that works uh, pretty well. It has worked pretty well in the past couple of years. So guys, not to make this video too long, uh, I'm still bullish on Bitcoin. I think December can become an outcome season, but in the short term time frame, like I said, we do touch some heavy resistance and some heavy support in the stables. So it really makes sense for Bitcoin, maybe this week to get a correction, right? We also see often, and this is very interesting seasonally, guys, 
often we are seeing Bitcoin correcting right before or on the day of Black Friday. And that is the 24th of November. And if we if we do that, if we do see something again like that right now, then we would see Bitcoin correct, maybe until Friday or maybe on Friday we see a big correction. But if we have a look at previous bull market after Black Friday, which mostly occurs in November, after Black Friday, we often see a rally in the Bitcoin price as well, but before a correction. So I'm not saying that this is a guarantee is going to play out, but seasonally, it can happen that we replicate something like previous years uh, that Bitcoin is maybe crashing or maybe has a correction on Black Friday or the week before, like this week, right? And then after Black Friday, we can continue this uptrend. I would surely hope to see that. And if Bitcoin can make that one leg higher, definitely, definitely be looking at a lot of altcoins to invest in in December. Guys, that was it for today's video. I really hope you can hear me good and you're not really have too much wind in the video if so my apologies guys i'm very sorry for that uh, i can't control the weather <laughs> but yeah i still want i still want to be here to um, be there with you guys okay drop a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i wish you all a beautiful day and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video